On several occasions, some government contractors are blamed for shoddy work that affects service delivery. State Minister for Urban Development, Obiga Kania, has now cautioned contractors and consulting firms under the Uganda Support to Municipal Infrastructure Development Program to disease it from shoddy work. Kania says if such practice does not stop, culpable firms will not be considered for contracts in the second phase of the Youth Made AF program set for 2024. The phase will be funded by Government of Uganda to the tune of US dollar 750 million. But for us to succeed in getting the second one, it depends on the implementation, the success of the implementation of Bush Made AD as it is now. Obiga communicated this during a tour of sites where he discovered slow progress of works, some abandoned and mismanaged. So we want to know what are they doing and the challenges they are facing. We also want to let them know that also with their specific objectives. They are not just uh, implementing for purposes of implementing and getting business. They are implementing in order to help our people. So it is absolutely important that as they implement, we build a rapport, we build a relationship with them. Although government supports the Buy Uganda Build Uganda policy, Bubu, contractors under the Youth Made AF program must avoid joint venture partnerships that add no value to their output. Now, good enough, what you have described, there are not too many cases. I think, uh, to the best of my knowledge, there is only one case uh, where somebody won the contract and subcontracted the entire work to another company. Of course, we're looking at the contents of the contract. Does it allow subcontracting? We will study it and see what appropriate actions we take, including uh, holding payments, including uh, terminating the contract. The program coordinator, Dr. Isaac Motenyo, says the meeting had served as a the program coordinator, Dr. Isaac Motenyo, says the meeting had served as a reminder to some contractors and consulting firms that had started to backtrack on what is expected of them. Uganda's support to municipal infrastructure development additional financing program was started in 2013 to enhance the institutional capacity of municipalities to deliver services. The World Bank supported program is being implemented in 14 municipalities and refugee hosting districts, which include Moyo, Yumbe, Isinjiro, Kiriandongo, Kamwenge, Arua, and Telego.